Hey everybody, welcome back to the Corn Pusher. Today we're doing a $100,000 buy-in. They only gave us one quarter for $100,000. If we set it on the right, oh my goodness, that's gonna be a nice one, hopefully. Oh my goodness. That is phenomenal start. Wow. We got all kinds of quarters. We made 10 grand already. Oh my. This is doing amazing. They got in there five great big old towers. We got two mystery bags, two dice. We got her loaded up real good. So wish me luck and hopefully we'll win a whole bunch of this. Put some on the left side also. Get it moving. Oh my. That tire right there just moved a bunch. It's doing real good. Oh my goodness, I thought we was going to get this one. It almost went. That was the last of the quarters though. Let's grab the quarters real quick. Now nice, I spent $11,000 on that last round. It's doing good. Let's keep it going. They were going to try putting a few on the right and then we'll go switch over, put a few on the left. Kind of push kind of evenly. Oh yeah, there's another grand. It's doing amazing. Got a hundred grand wrapped up in this game, so hopefully we can at least make a hundred thousand back. Uh, quarter tower starting to go. Looks like a bunch of it went a long time ago. Nice, just got another grand. The humongous tower is pushing back and forth. Look how much gold is in that thing. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of gold. But anyhow, it's about to go. I don't think it's going to hold on much longer. Let's, let's see, the tower on the left, this one is touching the glass already. Right there's the last of the quarters. I grab the quarters. I'll be right back. Nice, made $4,000 on that last round. Oh my goodness, look at that. The tire on the right fell over. The mystery bag landed on the red shelf, but hopefully the quarters will grab a hold of it and we'll end up getting that. If it would have just fell another inch or so forward, it would have definitely got it. Hopefully it will. Oh my goodness, that was massive. What was that? Oh, that was a center tire. They normally got some pretty good stuff in those mystery bags. So we're going to try real hard to get that. I'm trying to push kind of evenly right now. A couple on the right, a couple on the left. A humongous tower in the center. It's, it's about to go any moment. Almost got that mystery bag to fall off the red shelf. A $5,000 chip getting pretty close to the edge. This tower's hanging over the edge already. I didn't realize that. It ain't gonna hold on much longer, I wouldn't think. Getting all kinds of thousand dollar chips. Gold bars are pretty close. Need to try to get them dice though. Right there's one and another one somewhere over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my. That was massive. Wow. Clear that out a little bit. I just seen a bunch of stuff fall inside the machine. They won't give it back to us either. 
if it was like a dice or something that's really obvious what you know normally give it back if you got it on camera they got cameras everywhere but so do we but they ain't gonna just open it up and give us back some gold bars and five thousand dollar chips that's our loss they, who knows how much is in this side machine and then how much is ours and it's just loading up again I don't want to lose too much of it. Oh, that blue mystery bag almost went. The one on the right, I almost got it. Well, we got a dice on the red shelf on the left side. The only way we can get that is to pay the 10 times fine. And they'll take the stuff off the red shelf. But the stuff that was intended to be in play, like this this tire right here, and this one here, but not the stuff back against the walls, all that stuff, that's all just for show. So they won't take that off the shelf. But we'll probably end up doing the buy-in, or I don't know they call it a buy-in, but it's a fine. For them to reset it. This one over here, like I'm just telling you come up some of the rules in case you're new. That one over there is touching the glass. And if we want them to remove that off the glass, because if it's touching the glass or smashed up against the wall, they'll move that for a hundred grand. Whatever the original buy-in was. So in this case a hundred grand. So I got a feeling we're probably gonna end up paying 1.1 million to get them to reset the machine. We're going to probably have at least 1.2 million in this game by the time it's all over with. Most likely. Unless some miracle happens. We got to grab the quarters. We'll tally it up and we'll be right back. Nice. We made just a little under $1.8 million on that round. And 45 ounces of gold. It's doing amazing. Oh, that mystery bag almost went. Let's load up this uh, left side over here. See if we can't get this tire to go. And maybe we'll get lucky and it'll knock that dice back into play. It's worth a shot. That'll save us a million bucks if we can get it. Let's try not to spend the million if we don't have to. Let's load it up real good on this left side. See what happens. That dice should be it should be worth paying the buy-in or the fine, whatever to get that dice. And who knows what's in that mystery bag. There could be something really nice in there too. If there's another dice in there. Oh my goodness, we're talking huge money. Let's do our best to uh, try to minimize the buy-ins if possible. Don't worry, we'll try to get that mystery bag here in a minute. I'm wanting it to the, hopefully fall on its own without us having to really do much to it. It's slowly working its way off of the red shelf. Oh, that tower is moving. A big old tower. We end up losing the mystery bag. If this falls and we lose the mystery bag. Oh goodness, it almost went. That'll be all right. We'll probably end up having to do the buy-in anyway. We would have had to done it anyway, so. It's kind of a win-win situation, sort of. We're giving ourselves the opportunity to, to maybe not have to do the buy-in, even though I'm pretty certain we're gonna have to. It's worth a shot though. 
because we really want that dice that's on the left shelf. So I think it pushed itself out of play. Can't really reach it anymore. Plus that's the last of the quarters. We grab the quarters. We'll put a whole bunch on the right side and try to get this tire. Because if we can get it to go either in our favor or on the shelf, that'll save us a hundred grand. So we won't have to do that by and we'll just do the one million instead of the 1.1 million. Anyhow, we'll be right back. Nice, made $41,000 on that last round and an ounce of gold. So we're going to try to loading up this right side this time. We tried our best on that left. So we're probably going to have to pay the $1 million fine, which is okay. It, it is what it is. It'll definitely be worth it. Unless the dice lands on a one, but. So we're trying to get, trying to save $100,000. If we can get this to go, that'll save us a hundred grand. Because that's what they're going to charge us if they have to move that also. But if we can either get it or get it to fall on the red shelf, any, any way, and then I'll take it back off the red shelf for the million dollars. We just needed to do something. Save ourselves a hundred grand. I know a hundred grand don't seem like much, but it is. It's a tenth of a million dollars. If we can save it, might as well. A couple minutes of work. It's worth a hundred grand. Well, we got to move a little bit. Quarters real quick, though. Uh, I'm just trying to load up that right side real good, and, real good and thick. Hopefully, get it to go. We've got a bunch of quarters on the pusher now. So we just get them to knock that tire over. the last of the quarters. Let me grab some quarters real quick. Oh my goodness, it almost went. Nice, made seven grand and an ounce of gold. It's doing good. Not bad for a hundred thousand dollar buying. Not bad at all. All this from one quarter, that's pretty impressive. It don't always go this well. This one's doing amazing. Stay on this right side. It's loaded up real nice. Oh yeah, it's starting to work. Just gotta keep the quarters real thick. So we might, might be able to thin them out a little bit. Now that there's so many in there, get some nice pushes. See how it goes. So we got to load it up real nice. We're getting pretty low on quarters. Oh my, it almost went. That was close. Hey, it's gonna go any second, I think. Oh yeah. It ain't gonna hold on much longer. Boy, oh boy, look at that tower. That thing is. Oh, we saved the dice. So that saved us a hundred grand right there by doing that. We gotta get that 
to actually stay within that gutter though. Definitely don't want it going to the gutter. So let's try to save that dice. Luckily the quarters are stacked up real tall. So that'll even make it more difficult for it to go into the gutter. Come on, a couple more pushes and it ought to be safe. Oh my goodness, it's headed straight for the gutter though. Now or never. Oh my. Only got two quarters left. Now I got a few more right here. Goodness. It's getting scary. Oh my. The thing is definitely headed for the gutter. I don't want that at all. They won't they won't move that regardless if we paid them a hundred grand or not. Does it have to be touching the walls or the glass? They grabbed the quarters though, we ran out of quarters. Nice, nah, made $240,000 and an ounce of gold on that last round. Gotta stay on this right side. Gotta save that dice. Oh my goodness, it, it might be safe. Oh my, it's a close call, we'll see. I really don't want to lose it. Oh my, I think it might be okay. Oh yeah, it's, it, I think it might be all right. Hit that like button, everybody. Help me out, give me, give me a big favor. Try to help me out. Let's save that dice together. We can do this. Hit that like button, share the video. Something, we gotta save that dice. My goodness. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's working. Nice. Come on. Needs to go a little further to be safe for sure. Oh yeah. I think it's safe. No, it's no guarantees, but. Thing. I've seen things go backwards before. I'm not sure how it does, but it does. Gravity, I think. There's a huge lip at the edge of that drop off. Things slide backwards occasionally. It's working now. Everybody to hit thing, the like button, I appreciate it so much. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be a good time to subscribe if you, if you don't mind. You don't have to, I mean, it's absolutely free. I don't get anything out of it, but it just makes it easier for you to find my videos next time I upload one, which is pretty much every day. I think we missed one day this year out of the whole year. It was, uh, gosh, it was just the other day, wasn't it? Yeah. He was helping, he was helping an elder lady uh, cut a tree down. I did make a video of it, but it's not really not really a whole lot to do with coin pushing, you know, so I never aired it. Goodness, I got one quarter left. Let's get it in. Oh, nice. We got that dice. Sweet. I think this is a perfect time to stop. Pay the $1 million fine. And they should come and they'll move this tower that fell over the dice. This great big tire with the mystery bag on it and the gold. And they'll come over here and they'll just move all this right here and that mystery bag there. They, they won't touch this stuff though or some of that stuff back there against the wall because that's, like I said, that's just for show back there. 
Anyhow, let's pay the $1 million fine. I'll tally it all up and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. We paid that million dollars. See, they move stuff around. They always like to stack that stuff real tall, hoping it'll land on the shelves again. But we're going to do our best to try to save as much of it as possible. The one on the left is probably the tallest. It's probably ought to stay on the left side. Try to finagle that tower to go to the right a little bit. One right in the center. It's about to go over the edge already. I don't even got a dice on it. Oh my goodness. This, hope that, does, that dice don't land straight in the gutter. Oh my, we got it. We got it. I'm glad I was watching that. Because it fell right in the loot chute. And I would have thought <laughs> that it went right in the gutter. Especially the way everything else is going straight for the gutter. That tower in the back landed good. Oh, nice. So did that one. So we probably ought to stay on the left a little longer. Try to save some stuff from going in the gutters because it's like most of it's, it's close to the gutters is on the left. Normally, whatever side the stuff is the closest to the gutters, you play that side, and normally it'll save it. If you play the opposite side, you're almost always going to lose it. Just about safe. I'd like to go a little further on the left. Or not further, but longer. Spend a little more time on the left. Just to be certain. There's a you might have to put some on the right also. There's a ten thousand dollar chip right there. It's kind of close. Probably go across the whole field now and be alright. It worked out pretty good. I think we probably lost, I don't know, four grand or something to the gutters. That's what I see anyhow. Three or four grand. I wasn't counting that, but looks like a couple of thousand dollar chips. We're making a fortune right now, though. Those are all basically all ten thousand dollar chips. We just got a mystery bag. We're probably ought to figure that out. I don't know how cool it was getting. We don't want to lose a bunch of stuff again. Lost a whole bunch at the beginning. It's a shame they won't make the machine better so it doesn't eat all of our money up. It's a hungry machine, I tell you. In my opinion, if it, if it falls off that ledge, it there shouldn't be no way that they could get it back from us. Sometimes they do, though. We're not careful. I just think they ought to work on that. We should still make a pretty good profit, though, regardless of whatever we lost. Which I don't know how much it was. I just I could see it going in there. So I reached down and pulled everything out of there that I could. I've got it all out of there already. This has been a really good game. Nice. Oh my goodness. A thousand dollars to go on that left side. It's over on that left corner. It's right, right there if you don't see it. Sprinkle them in there. Let's get some nice pushes. We don't get to use the quarters anyhow. We got to turn them all in here in a minute. So it won't do us any good to try to conserve our quarters. 
We got a bunch of them now. Oh, nice, we got it. We got the whole machine cleared out. Oh, let's check and say what's in those mystery bags. We got two of them, didn't we? All right, here, here's those mystery bags. Let's check them out and see what's in there. Let's see, should we do? Let's go with the blue one. It's ginormous. This thing's packed up real good. Hopefully there's something real nice in there. Okay, what's that? A bunch of $5,000 chips. Nice, that's probably 50 grand. Feel something else. Oh yeah, we got another dice. Nice. We got dice and it looks like 50 grand most likely. Let's see what's in this one. Feels like a vehicle. Okay, so we got the, the red truck. Or, oh, that's a red car. <laughs> We got the red car. So this is a multiplier of two. It's always a multiplier of two. So that's good. That's a good win. So that right there doubles everything we've won today. And then we got that dice and, and another dice. So we're going to roll those two dice. Hopefully they'll land on some good numbers like a six or even a five. I don't know where five's at. It's on there somewhere right there. So wish me luck. And We'll be right back. Nice, we ended up pulling $3,191,000 out of that machine. That's incredible. Then we rolled them dice, they landed on a six and a four, and then we had that red car. So we got to multiply it all by 12, which is an astronomical number. And I turned it into 38 million two hundred and ninety two thousand dollars that is over a thirty seven million one hundred and ninety two thousand dollars in profit not to mention we also got 52 ounces of gold which is pretty darn good all in all that's not bad for a 1.1 million dollar buy-in not bad at all well, if y'all enjoyed the videos, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care.